Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, just going to do a perhaps not so quick review of my new PC build. Uh, Ryzen 1800X, Asus Crosshair Hero motherboard, 16 gigs of G Skill Flare X 3200, running at 3200, uh, 14, 14, 14, 34 o'clock. Uh, still have my original uh, Dual Fury X water-cooled video cards running in um, Crossfire. I have the, the latest BIOS from Asus as of uh, May 1st. Uh, let's see which one it is. Uh, there were some questions about would Flare X be able to run at 3200. I'm having no problems at all running it at 3200. Uh, so main board BIOS is 1106 as of April 25th. So I'm sure there'll be a BIOS update in the future, but uh, for now. Uh, running the 1800X at four gigahertz stock voltage. You can see right here, 3999, there you go, four gigahertz right there. Um, runs quite cool, uh, not having any problems with it. I may be having some slight uh, problems with uh, maybe memory errors or whatever, but I can't really confirm any of that. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to see how it goes. Idle temperature on air is 34 degrees, about, about 35 C. Uh, so let's go ahead and crank up some games and see how see how it performs. I was playing Fallout earlier. Uh, it was actually pretty good. I don't think my CPU utilization went above 30%. Um, so I guess that's one good thing. Come on. There you go. Come on. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, the Asus board was fairly easy to install, no problems there. Um, I am running the, uh, what is it, the, there was a patch, I think, you're not really a patch, but there was a software update for Ryzen optimization, I guess, a CPU patch, that seems to be working pretty well. So we've got GPU at 80. Sixty frames per second, ten eighty P. I think I'm running sixteen X. Um, an ESO. Let's see what we got here. Let's get rid of this nuker. This one's all mine. And of course, here come the sense. sure that other synth was legendary. Where did he go? Um, let's see here. We got uh, 
GPU one at 94, GPU two at 17. Memory, I'm using 2.8 gigs of memory. D11 CPU at 17% RAM at 8330. Uh, and if anybody wants to question if they should have um, 16 or 8 gigs of RAM, and that'll pretty much answer it for you. Ghoul Slayer's Raider. Get me that mini nuke. Uh, like I said, there were some questions about uh, uh, being able to run the Flare X at full. Being able to run the, uh, the Flare X at full 3200, I'm having no problems at all. happy with my build. My previous build was a crappy, well, no, I wouldn't really say crappy, but uh, an old 9590, AM3 Plus 9590. It was a good CPU. Uh, I had it for a number of years, and it's being uh, transferred to my upstairs PC, uh, my backup uh, PC. It's still a good CPU. Uh, the Crosshair Hero or correction, the crosshair, uh, what was it, uh, Formula Z, fantastic mother to it. Beat the crap out of that thing, and it's never given me an ounce of trouble in uh, all the years I've had it. Uh, I have pretty much developed into something of an uh, AMD fanboy. Uh, it has a lot to do with... Uh, <laughs> Swing and a miss. Um, Intel, do not like Intel's business practices, uh, specifically during the Gamergate fiasco a couple of years ago. Uh, AMD came out in support of gamers and against uh, the social justice warrior shitheads. Uh, Intel gave $300 million to a bunch of feminists. And their $300, uh, $300 million just essentially disappeared. Intel has absolutely nothing to show for giving, uh, kowtowing to feminists and giving them $300 million. Um, well, we basically, they got extorted, they got played. Uh, plus, you know, when you tab up a lot of stupid shit that Intel's done in the past, uh, they've actually, Intel has been uh, sued for essentially uh, less than ideal business practices. They lost. They paid big. And uh, NVIDIA, um, I used to run NVIDIA. I still have some NVIDIA cards. Uh, my favorite NVIDIA uh, card of all time was the uh, Shit, this had to have been 10 years ago. The uh, 8800 GTS 640 meg. Played a lot of Medieval War 2 on that. Played a lot of uh, 
Public Commando has a fantastic board. Uh, that was then. This is now. Um, NVIDIA, I just... I don't like their business practices again. Uh, there is some anecdotal evidence that... Uh, okay, with AMD, you have something called fine wine technology, which over time, the, the hardware in tandem with updated software and drivers, uh, the, the, the video cards tend to perform a little better over time. Uh, and there, like I said, there's a little bit of anecdotal evidence that shows that uh, NVIDIA tends to hamper their cards as time goes by with drivers to make their cards slower than when they first came out, uh, thus compelling buyers to uh, buy the latest uh, technology, the latest cards. And uh, I don't, even if I had 800 bucks, I would, uh, I got both of my Radeon Fury X water-cooled video cards for got $400 each. Uh, I bought one, I guess, about probably more than a year ago. And then I just been watching eBay very closely. And uh, I found another, I guess about three, four months ago, I found another uh, Fury X for $399 and it was it had been posted for about an hour and boom I bought it right there on the spot and uh, two Radeon Fury X's is uh, I think probably more powerful than a uh, a 1080 p uh, 1080 Ti and um, this may even be more powerful than uh, the upcoming Vega chips Vega CPUs um, I'm gonna have to wait. I guess we have to wait about another two months to see. Uh, try. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to see how the new Vega video cards form. Uh, AMD has promised us that it will come out this quarter, uh, but I guess that remains to be seen. So we're looking at 16% CPU utilization. Um, so. Um, yeah, CPU utilization, I was really surprised, but I suppose at 8 cores, 16 threads, 4 gigahertz, 12% uh, CPU utilization isn't too bad. Um, if anybody is questioning whether the... Uh, for me, it's not even a matter of how does... Um, how does AMD rise and stack up against Intel. I never intended to buy an Intel CPU. I have been waiting for a year to upgrade to Ryzen. Now that I've finally upgraded, the only comparison I, I'm concerned with is uh, how does it stack up against uh, my old 9598 core? Uh, it stacks up pretty well, and I'm quite happy. Um, and like I said, there were some questions about if the Flare X would, uh, the Flare X would perform well against the, um, uh, if the Flare X 3200 would run at 3200 at 14 clicks, and it's doing just fine. And uh, I don't have a complaint in the world. Okay, so uh, that's about it. I guess I'll exit out of here and do a little hardware, device manager, check my uh, CPU temperatures, and that's my Ryzen build. So again, if anybody's considering a Ryzen build, <coughs> um, I'm having really good luck with the uh, Asus uh, Hero, Asus uh, 6 Hero. Oh, damn it. Get back up. I'm dying anytime now. Um, Asus uh, Crosshair 6. Correction. Damn. 
Asus Hero. This guy out here. The Asus Hero. Is it a hero? What the hell is it? Crosshair Hero 6. Running the uh, Ryzen 7 1800X at 4 gigahertz. And I've been running for more than 15 minutes and uh, not having any problems. Now, right? Don't worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god. Right. Let's give her some decent. Um, overall, very happy with. Uh, Let's trade. Go ahead. Whenever I rescue one of the people, I tend to give them uh, upgrades so that I know how many of them have been rescued. <laughs> so when I go back to a, uh, a settlement, you can see, you know, I've rescued four or five or six people here because they're all wearing different clothes. All right, so, um, like I said, running the Asus Hero 6. Uh, the Flare X Ram, uh, the uh, G-Skill Flare X Ram. G-Skill Flare X Ram 3200 uh, running at 3200 14, 14, 14, 34 um, and I'm running air I will be getting a uh, uh, Cooler Master, what is it, the H80 water-cooled unit uh, but for now the CPU really doesn't seem to be producing that much heat I'm not having not having any problems at all <clears throat> So let's take a look at the Ryzen Master. Okay. And we're still at 37C after 15 minutes of play. So not bad at 4 gigahertz. Voltage is 1.35. Uh, the software may actually be boosting my voltage without me knowing about it, which is fine. So that's basically it. Any questions or comments, let me know. And let's go ahead. Right on Fury, dual Logitech G19 keyboard. Uh, still running my old uh, Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster X5, using my G430 gaming headset. No conflicts. Everything looks good. Uh, CPU, there it is, 1800x. So there you go. Uh, anybody has any questions or comments? Like I said, if you're thinking about doing a, uh, if you're thinking about doing a, um, a Ryzen build, uh, I was expecting problems. I really was. I was expecting uh, a lot of grab ass, but uh, no grab ass at all. Uh, the only thing that when I got the the motherboard, it needed to have a BIOS update, which I was able to download the BIOS update, put it on my C drive, go into the BIOS, do the Easy BIOS update. And identify the uh, the BIOS update right there from inside the BIOS update utility. It just said, you know, point it to internal storage. I pointed it to my SSD drive, and it uh, it picked up the BIOS, and there and there it was. It updated it, no problems at all. So there's my new build. I'm happy with it. I think I'm getting about. I was playing GTA, and normally with GTA I get maybe. 50 frames per second. Um, now I'm getting about 70 or 80 frames per second at 1080p um, with maximum draw distance and extended draw distance. That's where you're really getting chewed up. Uh, but I'm still getting, like, I'm still hitting 100 frames per second, uh, which is a significant improvement over. Uh, 
what I was doing before on the old uh, rusty old 95.90. So there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, post them. And uh, good luck.